Hey everyone, uh, welcome to Ethel Golf Channel. So um, today we're going to have a little fun today. Um, I have um, two clubs here. This is my six iron and this is the um, famous Medicus. Okay, and I know a lot of my client hates this club, but actually uh, there's very good usage if you know how to use this club properly. Um, the reason why I bring this club up here today is because we are going to get into what I call tempo. Okay, the, what I call the rhythm of the backswing. All right. So um, first, um, now I know a lot of you have been watching the videos, and you know that there's really two type of golf swing, uh, what I call the arm swing or the body swing. So um, this club would tell you and will demonstrate why your arm swing is not going to help you work on your tempo. Really, um, a golf swing, the proper tempo is really important because really if you have a good tempo that means you're loading your body correctly all right so um, first let me just show you I'm gonna demonstrate the two different takeaways um, of course now that most of you know that you know Ethel Golf's we preaches body rotation energy first so I have a six iron right now and I'm going to give you guys a two look on the takeaway okay so this is what I call the arm takeaway okay and and this is called the body rotational takeaway okay now obviously both takeaways you can do a fast and slow right so I have a client came to me and say, hey I'm working on you know slow down you know working on the tempo so he's he's actually doing this All right, so I say, Joe, yeah, you are slowing down, but you're not creating energy. You're just slowing down the movement. There's no purpose in the movement, okay? So what happened is the best way to look at what is a correct tempo, really, if you're rotating your, rotating your body, and this is the correct rhythm because you're moving from your center. So that would be considered a pretty slow tempo. Now, if I do it this one more time, I still didn't move my arms and that would be a considered a little bit faster tempo all right so um, now obviously there's arm swingers they go well I can turn my arm like this move my arms like that okay that's a fast tempo or I can do it slow all right but remember when we are learning golf the most important thing is that we're looking for consistency right so think about this right now. Now I'm going to go to the Medicus, okay? All right. So watch this. Now I'm actually going to do two takeaway. One is what I call the arm swing takeaway. And the next one is called the body rotational takeaway, which is F for golf, right? So this is the arm takeaway. Actually, I'm going to do it very slowly so the clip doesn't break. So that was the arm takeaway. All right, now I'm going to do what I call the body takeaway. Okay. Now a lot of you say, hey, there's not much a difference. So I'm going to show you the difference in a different pace means in a little bit quicker tempo. All right. Okay, that was the arm takeaway. That was faster take away with the body rotations what I call the cord and hip rotation I'm gonna do it one more time okay now understanding because when you are turning your body you can turn your body fast and slow but it's always going to be a very consistent movement because really we're dealing with a circular motion so the equation has to be correct so now in the beginning a lot of times remember if you Remember from our previous episode that we try to train you as a golfer where you are controlling your slow twitch muscles, which is your big muscles. Your fast twitch muscles, your arms are always going to mess you up unless you start playing golf when you're five or three, right? So you can see right now, if I do an arm take away, if I do it very slowly and the club isn't breaking, but if I do it very fast and the, the club breaks, so what does that mean? That means if you do it really fast on the takeaway with your arms, 
you're really not going to be very consistent on a proper position of your top of the swing. So which leads to that really you will not be able to stay on playing, right? And create downswing sequence, chance are then you're not going to be able to lag and release properly. So you know, everything is really the whole package. So now I'm gonna show you again, just reinforce from our, you as a viewer to give you the ideas. This is the body takeaway, taking away with only big muscles and not moving the arms at all. I'm gonna do a first slow. And then I'm going to do a little bit faster. Okay, those are what I call the FO golf takeaway. It means we're using hips, big muscles, very quiet arms. The arms are just staying connecting with the body. Now I'm going to show you the arm takeaway. First, I'm going to do it slowly. As you can see, I'm moving my arms, my body's not moving, and the club looks pretty good. Oh, wait, that looks pretty good. I can use that. Okay. Now remember, that equation is actually incorrect. I'm moving the radius. So if you do move that slow, chance are you're still not creating the proper energy, which leads to a lot of you guys will try to move faster so you look like this. Because in your mind, when you move a little bit faster with your fast twitch muscles, you feel like you have a lot of power. But remember, we're dealing with a correct energy, not power, okay? So, the conclusion is this. If you want to work on your temple, the only way to work on your temple is that you have to have center motion, which is core takeaway, your hip takeaway. Your arms are not supposed to move. Boom. Boom. Okay, now, if you can do it correctly, you will be able to find a rhythm or find confidence in the movement because right now, as you can see, I'm going to do an F foot golf swing, which is body swing, body rotational takeaway. I'm going to turn and shift. So you can see, the truth is, let me, let me grab a ball actually, so I can show you guys that you can actually hit a ball with this club, all right? Let's put my six iron away, okay? So, it looks like this. Pop a temple, taken away. only way to work on correct tempo is based on correct rotation. Your arms should not be part of the equation as far as taking the club back. All right, so um, I know you guys are going to have a lot of questions. Um, again, uh, Medicus, if you're watching this video, you should call me and we can set up something and um, maybe you can be a sponsor. Anyway, this is a great training tool, but if you don't use this tool properly, this tool right here, you are not going to get the benefit from this great training aid from Medicus. All right? So again, like I say, the only way to work on proper tempo is that you want to make sure you're turning your hips, turning your body. Just like that. Okay? And you're moving your arms very even though it might look good, but you will feel like you have no energy, so you will still use your arms. But if you do it very fast, 
you're not going to be in the right place. Only the young can use arm swing. If you start playing golf after your puberty, forget about it. It won't help you. That's the reason, that's the reason why USGA, the average score, never improves, right? With all this, like I say, all the Ferraris in your bag. All right, so um, thank you for watching. Please click like and share. Uh, if you have any questions, email me, leave a comment.